everybody it's October and welcome back to another video and today it's fucking disgusting outside like I wish I could show you guys but I don't feel like I guess I have to I mean I already said it these are literally icicles like I can literally peel let's see what the eye of the ground is feeling like there's literally ice everywhere oh my god oh my god it's like motherfucking somebody's coming no I don't like people, so that's why you don't have to go. <laughs> and I don't know what I'm doing. So, what is this video even about? I don't know. But you know, let me just talk to you guys real quick. I'm gonna do a little morning routine first before I get to anything, because somebody hit my DMs and was like, you do us a morning routine, and I'm like, shut your ass on fire, bitch. Die. I'm gonna start off by letting my teeth dry, because you know, duh, the fuck. You brush your fucking teeth every fucking morning. Cause if you don't, you're a stinky ass cunt. You know what? I'm gonna do this off camera because I can't fucking fuck shit. Whew. So my hair is kind of done. I mean, I don't really do anything to it. I just blow dry it and then let it be. That's really all I do. I'm gonna, it, I'm gonna put in my contacts. I'm literally tearing up because I don't know why. It's because because this. Because everything doesn't want to go my way. And I can't fucking do this no more. <laughs> you bitches lie. Bitch, I don't fucking so cry. The hell? So pretty. I hope. Goodbye, crew world. Well, guess what, bitch? A bad bitch never kills themselves. If you're a bad bitch, then what do you have to kill yourself about? Literally nothing. Okay, let's get serious. This video is gonna be about my coming out story. Story time, the time I came out and everybody just wanted to switch up like that. Like, okay. So we're gonna have a little, um, a little story time. And so, okay, so it all started in, well, I'm just gonna go back all the way to fourth grade. Like, I was always a flamboyant little child. I was always a little feisty. I was always a little diva. And um, it got to the point where people were like, okay, people started figuring out what gay meant, and they started using that word really crazy. Like, they're like, are you gay? Are you gay? Are you gay? Are you gay? I was like, bitch, the fuck? Bitch, I knew a gay man. I was just like, what is gay? I eventually figure out what it meant and I figured out people used to use that people are still using that shit to degrade people people are still using that word to fucking make other people feel less and it's just me that is the main reason why people like me were scared to come out people like me were scared to express their true selves to people like that the main reason because I didn't want to feel lesser than anybody else nobody wants to feel that way so all throughout fourth grade up to middle school you know I hit it like I used to date like I used to act like I was dating girls and shit like that and it, that's if you're gay and you're watching this and <laughs> that is the worst thing you can do that is like act like you're dating a girl no that's the worst way to get yourself exposed because if that if that female finds out you can't get your little uh because then what the fuck are you gonna do then you know um I talked with like my like my sisters always used to be like they always used to know they knew like Linda didn't you know huh Scream it so that people can hear. Come on. Well, oh, this bitch is being retarded. Like, we all knew. Everybody knew. And I was just continuing to hide it. Like, I was such a scared ass bitch. Like, honestly, looking back at it, I don't know what exactly what I was scared of. I think I was mainly just scared of people not like liking me. Cause that was something I was worried about. Talking about it now just makes me want to be like, bitch, I just want to go back and slap that little fat ass kid in the fucking face. 
Who cares what people think about you? Who cares what people say about you? Who cares what you think of you? <laughs> Just kidding, that's the only thing that matters. The only thing that matters is you thinking about you. As long as you are okay with yourself, it doesn't matter what everybody is okay with, period. And that period. So I came to high school and ninth grade was a little bit hard for me because um, you know I had just got out of a serious situation with my mother and that's a whole nother video. Like, baby. That's a whole nother video. So I had just got out of a serious situation with my mother and I haven't spoken to her for about a couple years. So everything just started building up, especially like the biggest secret like anybody could ever hold inside of you. Um, it literally came to the point where it was like, everything you're doing is hiding the fact that you're doing was to hide the fact that you were gay. Everything I was doing was to hide the fact that I was gay. Like literally. And so I just became this angry ass person. I became angry. I became, uh, I just used to lash out on people. It was crazy. And I had a lot of friends who were supportive and I really hinted at a friend like, her name was Jenny. If you guys don't know her, y'all know Jennifer Podiquez. I'll show the picture right here. She was really helpful throughout this situation because of the fact that I feel like I could tell her anything. Even though we had our ups and downs, even though we fought, even though we did all this extra shit, I felt like I could tell her anything. And that's period. But I really didn't tell her I was, I didn't say I'm gay. I didn't come out to her. I hinted the fact that I needed help. I hinted the fact that I'm a hurting person inside. It was just hard for me. And I don't want to cry because, you know, bad bitch never cries, but it was hard. And people around me did not want to be around me because I was this angry ass, firecracker ass person. It came to the point where I was literally like, I wouldn't say like suicidal. I wouldn't say hurting myself. I wouldn't say any like any of that stuff well i was like okay so i'd like pull out my hair because like if i would have thought of anything gay i would like pull out my hair or like hit myself in the head and like i used to cry in the showers and shit like that and it was just bad it was bad no this is really serious like people really have these issues and i don't want to i want to shed some light on it people already like big celebrities and stuff are already doing it but i feel like from an insider view I feel like I should, like an insider view of somebody who actually went through this. Um, like it was hard. It was not easy. If you are doing everything you can to hide the fact that you're gay, you have to make sure that you are mentally and physically prepared because you're, you subconsciously are going to do things that you do not like. People around you are not gonna like. And it's gonna, be, it's just gonna make you this person who nobody wants to be around and that's period. Came to the point where I was like, okay, I don't wanna be gay. I was crying, I was doing all this other shit, all this other shit and, and it didn't help the fact that we had people calling me gay, calling me faggot, calling me this. And to this day, we have people under my comment section cause I'm doing this little YouTube stunt. His name was Faghater69. Hello Faghater69, I'm October, nice to meet ya. You gotta know who this person is in real life. Um, but you know, I'm not gonna put his little, his little information on there like that. He said this, I'm gonna, if you guys wanna pause the video and read it, then that's fine. But like, I'm still getting like, shit like that today, but does it matter to me? No. But would it matter to me back then? Yes. Like that would have a huge ass impact on my motherfucking life. There was this one day I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, look, you're gay. You like boys, you like... <laughs> it finally came accepted with myself. And that's what I was. I was I was accepting of myself and I was ready for other people to be accepting of me too. And I had took to one of my closest friends at the time. We're not friends now. And it just sucks that, you know, people grow apart and people cut you off for no reason. Um, but it's okay. Um, I had finally told her I was gay and she she did not care she like but she did support me through like anything like she was one of the like first people I told besides my sister which I told her later on so I told her and she was all like look I don't care even though it was against her religion she didn't care she was still my friend I was like okay bitch 
still came down to a year, time to the summer, and I had a very fun time on the, on the, during the summer. And it came to around my sister's birthday, and I was fully accepted myself. My, and so I was very comfortable with myself, and I felt like I could be comfortable to, with myself around other people. So I finally had told my older sister, Alexi. She explained to me that yes, people along the way are gonna fucking bash down on you. People along the way are gonna say harsh things about you. People along the way are, you're gonna want to be like cool with those people, but those people aren't gonna be cool with you because of the fact that you're gay. It's cool when people be like, oh, it's the 20th century, um, we can do what we want. Okay, yes, you can do what you want, but it's, Doing what you want gonna be accepted by other people? No. Is it ever gonna be like that way? No. No, it's not. Because everybody is entitled to their own opinion. And I res I completely respect that. Would you want somebody to treat you like that? Would you want somebody to treat you as though you are monster? Would you want somebody to treat you as though what you're doing is wrong? No. So that's why I, I was just like, okay, with the fact that people are not gonna like me along the way, that's fine. But am I still gonna be myself? Hell the fuck yes! <laughs> Anyways, so on to the point, I came out to everybody else after I told my sister, and eventually my family found out, and, vent and they were okay with it. Um, I didn't care. I didn't care what anybody else like, thought at that point, and I just became blossom like a little flower in the motherfucking woods, and ultimately, I became the baddest bitch because of it, and now... I'm unstoppable, and um, if you ever try to stop me, <laughs> guess what's gonna happen? <laughs> You're gonna fail, and that's okay, because people fail at one point in their life, but am I gonna fail? No, because bad bitches never fail. Am I going, do I have ultimate belief inside my heart that I'm gonna be successful? Yes. Because that's the type of mentality you need. That's the type of mentality you're gonna need to be actually successful if this bitch comes to my room she's gonna get popped everybody have a good day um if you have any like um questions or haven't need any advice just hit my dms you know because my instagram will be right here my snapchat will be right there and you just feel free to ask you know feel free to ask and i'm the baddest bitch bye